Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, this is another look at percentage calculations and a couple of scenarios just to um, uh, emphasize how easy it is to do these percentage formulas. This is a, a survey that Fred's done to find out which is the most popular type of uh, movie or popular genre and he's obviously asked his customers and they've fed back these numbers to him and you can see the calculations have already been put in place here and uh, we've even got a chart there that um, illustrates the results of that survey which is a sort of a nice little uh, way of presenting the information right, I'm not concerned with the chart at the moment, I'm just going to look at the calculations and the first thing I'll do is simply delete out the calculations that are already there and we're going to put them back in so select that list of values and press delete messes up the chart but I'm not worried about that so we'll click into cell C4 which is where the first calculation will go and we begin the calculation equals on the keyboard click on the uh, the first value there in uh, cell B4 that's the number of votes for the drama genre on the keyboard press divide which is the forward slash key I should have mentioned that before but I'm sure you worked it out and then click on the total value and that's the sum of all the the votes cast in the survey okay now this is the point where you need to remember to set an absolute reference on this B11 cell reference now I can do that manually, I'll just delete the B11 there and just show you that if I wanted to you could simply type $B$11 just using the keyboard and enter that uh, calculation by clicking the tick there and that works perfectly okay um, obviously if you want to do it slightly more easily you can simply press equals click the first value divide on the keyboard the total of the votes and then this time press the F4 key and the F4 key is simply a shortcut that automatically applies the dollar symbol around the uh, the cell reference before the column reference and before the row reference and that locks the calculation on that B11 cell which is the total value as you'll see in a second so that's really all you need to do again click the tick to uh, accept the formula clicking the tick is pretty much the same as pressing the enter key once we've uh, got that calculation it's a simple operation just to copy the formula down in this case to C9 release the mouse button and it fills in all the calculations for us and if I just select a couple of those you can see in the formula bar it's locked on to cell B11